Hello, 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 family. This on this Sunday afternoon. Hope everybody is doing great. Hope you're doing well. Um, just had a thought as this year is winding down and we're getting ready to embrace a brand new year, 2022. Um, Spirit of God really came upon me um, yesterday, actually last night, and said to me in no uncertain terms that I should say to the people to be certain and intentional about who you're following in 2022. As I was uh, just pondering the last uh, two years of this pandemic, the Spirit of God said to me that, um, you know, because the question came to mind, why is this lasting so long? Why are we still as as um, as leaders trying to figure out if we can open the doors of the church or not? And that's something that I struggle with every day. Should I close the doors? Should I open the doors? Should I not open the doors? And God has not really been definitive. And whenever God is not definitive, it means that he's making a sovereign move and he expects us to just wait on him. And. The Spirit of God said to me that these conditions have um, endured, you know, kind of been strung out because he's yet purging out leadership, toxic leadership in the church. And you haven't seen anything yet, the Lord said. God is purging leadership. These, these, um, these false leaders that occupy the Lord's pulpit uh, like it's their career, you know? These leaders that, that do it for the clout, the prestige, and the money and mislead God's people. God is purging these guys and these women, you know? Because the church had, had really gotten entirely too um, toxic, worldly, demonic, immoral. And there's some of you that are watching me now who have played with the Lord's house like that. And I'm here to tell you, man, your days are numbered. Except you fall on your face and repent. Your days are numbered. God's coming for you, man. Because you have, you have messed up you have hindered the witness of, of the church in the earth. When the world says, I don't go to church because there's not, there's really not a rebuttal we have. Because the church, to a large extent, is a joke. When you look at these people we have in these positions, and we call these people our pastors and our leaders and our bishops, my God, you know, my God, it makes me wonder. But God said he's, he's busting a sovereign move. And he's purging this trashed leadership we've had in front of us. Because sheep don't have a clue. Sheep will follow anything. And God said, I have to step in and purge this trash out of the church. And so I'm saying to you, man, be intentional. Be certain about who you're following, who you're calling your leader, who you're calling your pastor, who you're calling your bishop, your apostle. Number one, and this is just my opinion, you know, you don't need to try to take, this is just my opinion. Any so-called leader that leads with his or her title, all of these titles, doctor, bishop, apostle, prophet, if you got all of that, you ain't got to be leading with that. Just be that. Anybody that leads with these titles, I'm already leery of you. Because it's like you're trying to sell something. I don't need to sell authenticity. Authenticity speaks for itself. If I'm an authentic prophet, my works will define me. If I'm an authentic apostle, my works will define me. If I'm a doctor and I got it like that, my intellect, my knowledge will define me. But some of you all are just so carried away with these titles and these people throw these titles out there. 
That's why they love wearing all of these colors and all of these different, uh, you know, garments and all of that stuff. Most of these people are not consecrated. Most of that stuff is not sacred. That stuff is a joke. These are clowns. These are clowns. And to be quite honest with you, I'm happy that God is stepping into this situation because it was getting absolutely ridiculous. You haven't seen anything the Lord said. You're getting ready to see leadership drop like flies. You're getting ready to see some of these false leaders die by the dozens. And every leader that dies is not ungodly. Don't, don't, don't take my words and, and twist that. Don't, don't take my words and twist that. But you're getting ready to see some that are ungodly. You're going to see them drop like flies. Because God has to clean this church up. These are the last days, man. And if we don't have a church that is on that is on point and in step with God and in sync with God, what's the hope of the world if we are the light of the world? If we are the city set on the hill, what's the hope of the world? God has to clean this trash out of his house. And so don't be a fool. Out here following these clowns. You know, you you out here following men that, you know, you can look at this dude, can't tell, he, he don't know if he's a woman or a man. Just so feminine and just like a little woman and all of this kind of stuff here. Come on now. I, I don't mean to go, I don't mean to go there, but come on now. You got better sense than that. You was raised better than that. Man don't have a good relationship with his wife. Sleeping with everything, moving in the church. You got to even protect your little daughters and even your sons from these people now, man. And you out here following them because you like the music. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Get your, man, download some music, but go to a church where you have a godly man. Go to the church where you have a godly woman leading. Somebody that's an example to your family. Man, I'd rather go to church with a single man that's, that's consecrated and before God than to be sitting up in one of these churches with one of these old false marriages. Man sleeping with everybody and you up in there calling this your pastor. Be intentional about who you follow. Be intentional. It took me two years after my daddy died to, to call Bishop Martin my pastor. I knew he was my pastor. But I took my time because I, I had never had to search for a pastor. I was born with a pastor. And I knew what God told me, but I took my time. Took my time. And some of you all, are you all out here just running and following anything. Anything. These people are like children. It's so materialistic. Flesh all out of control. And you call that your leader. And your children watching this. You better be careful. That's all I'm saying. But for you little fake leaders out here, your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. Prophetically, your days are numbered. The Spirit of God is getting ready to sweep. He's getting ready to sweep the land. And so I just wanted to say that, man. I just... I just hope somebody hear me. Thank y'all for the stars. I love you.